Put my head down on that scene. Strawberry ice. I'm about to use all these. You're on camera. Let me get a one. This should look good. I'm not sad. I'm falling for you. Alright, so look. In college, right? I sang to this girl. Never sang to a girl before in my life. This grown woman. I tried to get her attention. Bad choice. <laughs> Bad fucking choice because I was flexing, right? Hella hard. Like, yeah, I was in the studio all night making music. I was just a nigga in the studio. <laughs> but I told her, I was like, yeah, I was in the studio making music all night. She was like, all right, let me get some. Nigga, why I say, Mario, you should let me love you. And it couldn't sing a lick. And that was a hit song right there. It was a hit. So Shorty started crying. I sang in front of her homegirl, too. Bro, they was <laughs> I'm like, damn, do I keep singing or not? <laughs> I tried, I tried. Okay. It One, two, one, two. Big major, big major. Clocked in Jew, clocked in Jew. Wait, can we get it, son? Yeah, let's do it. Uh-huh. Nah, let's get it. I'll get my nails. Yeah, yeah. Damn, that's my boss. I don't know how y'all get treated. I saw his record didn't change on a boxing record. Some figure something. Damn, Dan was peeping, uh, watching for King Rob. Yeah. He just texted me. I was looking on his pro stats, blah, blah, blah. I see his record didn't change. I was wondering if he fight. Oh, so what did they reply back when he, when he texted me? Oh, man. Did but uh, it was, it was incredible. Uh, I want to turn down a little bit. Yep. Or right there by you. Are y'all one of these praying families? Family. So I'm going to let him take <laughs> I think we went over this last time. Speak to me about this one. I'm about to dive in, so. No, when I said when she was kid Gooch. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that nice. shit had me crying. I'm not quite sure. What's that? What's she looking at? Gooch? Why? <laughs> what? <laughs> he said on camera, Lord. <laughs> Do, yeah, you did do it last time, too. and it was the same one, I think. Yeah. Uh, I can, let me get a fork, Trump. Oh, my fault. She wanted them house cats, you feel me? They cook for you, know what I'm saying? He's already, too. I'm hungry, but. He's eating with his hands. I be, I be, I be, I be, I be. Actually, you know what? I might do it straight on. I got that. This might be better. You might need to pull the table out a little bit though. Yeah. Then we sit on the side. Yeah. The lady's good? What? The lady's good? No, you gotta drink. I'm missing the bottom part. I'm ready. You, want, you got a sock? Yeah. She's not ready. 
gotta pick it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah but uh, you, that should be good. You think so? Maybe you said, let me see. Thank you so much. I, I, it's definitely not hot, so I know you got this shit. You want warm it up? <laughs> yeah? No? <laughs> oh my God. You want me to warm it up? I don't even like that. I ain't gonna cap. My granddad keeps telling me to eat my food up. I eat it right out the fridge. Mm -hmm. That's sick. Man, he keeps saying that. I said, this nigga, I'm hungry. <laughs> Sorry. Hmm. Y'all wanna show y'all great since y'all on camera? I'm definitely saying that. Y'all eat syrup either? Hmm? Y'all be putting syrup? He's healthy. I do. Oh. It's the healthiest man I know. Not really. <laughs> mm. I do eat syrup though. I want to appreciate you, Jew. Hooking it up in the kitchen, you feel me? I seen a couple smokes coming out the fridge. I mean, out the stove. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah, Who's this right here? Syrup. Oh. Warm. That's what she was asking. What drink on? Take this out. It's warm too. Wait, right, what y'all got planned for the rest of the day? Babysitting. Babysitting. Father sitting or baby sitting? Father sitting. I love it. Yeah, father sitting, man. I had a record camp today. I had six. Well, at least. Yeah. Where are you? His kids are, uh... In middle school. Oh, okay. What y'all know about this? Situation. You don't know nothing about this. You know. I got a little two-step. I got a little two-step in me. Mm. I ain't see the whole thing. I only seen it on Instagram. Yeah, me too. Yeah, so this might be enjoying it now. Hey, me and Drain start all day. <laughs> <laughs> With this? She's bad. Wait. She graduated from Little Russell. How about today? Why Little Russell? Oh, you know how to fire him. They don't retweet us, man. How to fire him. <laughs> hey, man, how to fire you, Wait, bro. what did they say when uh, you told you told me you wasn't going to work with anymore, the boxer? Man, listen. Somebody feels hurt and it ain't mine. But let's okay. get into that. Let's get Yo, into that. I'm professional. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. At least. Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me now? What's up, man? No, you're bad. Tell me this. How you feel when an athlete don't be committed? You know what I'm saying? You wait. You put your time and effort into an athlete. Mm. And then you see him not committed. Like, he, he don't believe in himself as much as you. I ain't going to carry stress, but for real, for us, like babysitting. I'm really not big on babysitting. That's like one of my first things I tell anybody. Like, if I gotta babysit you, then what are we doing? That ain't teamwork. You right. feel me? So, you talking about like as far as like working out and stuff? Just like, in like, general. Like, if you want to partner with an athlete, right? You know, we want to sponsor an athlete. So we we putting out time and effort and money that we invested in in you, yeah. and you not showing us that you care. Like, you are not showing us your heart is in it. How many athletes want the camera on them? All of them. Right? How many of them are actually doing something worthy of putting being put on camera? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, all right, cool. We see something in you besides just training. If someone pinpoints that out and be like, hey, man, I feel like you're bigger than just basketball. You can be a brand. You can be this. You can be that. Well, then why not, you know what I'm saying, start making those strides outside the gym. You feel me? Really going to market yourself. Really going to put yourself out there. It's no different than you getting a job. You feel me? You got to audition for the NBA. You got to audition for college. You got to audition to get an apartment. Everything you do is an application. You feel me? Right. So why not apply that for your own brand? And I feel like a lot of athletes, you know, they say they want to be number one. They all they are number one in their mind, right? But if nobody know you, how you number one? Right. You know what I'm saying? You're not outside like you think you is. You didn't really meet the best. Cause yeah. shit, if they you was, nigga, the best to be talking about you. So since they not, why not let a professional crew come in and highlight you? You feel me? Like I feel like. How many athletes need that? Every athlete needed. LeBron needed every level, right? Every level. 
from start to finish. You need stuff for the scouts to see. You need stuff for your fans to see. You need stuff that people want to tune in and really get behind. You feel me? Like, why you be getting those sponsorships? With like the water company, WBA, Ruthie Bam. Why you even seeking that? Why am I seeking it? Yeah. Because I want to be known. You want to be known. <laughs> so if we invest in an athlete and we're like, all right, cool, you want to be known. But every time we give you opportunity, you want to, ah, uh, I'm tired. Ah, uh, I'm yeah. not ready. I need my hair cut. Oh, my boys ain't here. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that ain't going to make you a million views off because your homies is here or not. Yeah. You still got to get off the porch and do it. You know what I'm saying? Nine times ten, the journey is lonely. You feel me? So it's like, oh, you oh, thinking because your homies there, whoopty bam, that's going to make you get a million. No, that's just making you feel comfortable. Get out your comfort zone. And really turn up because when you're uncomfortable, you're gonna really turn it up to the ten thousand power. You're gonna be unlock something you didn't know you had inside you. You feel me? The shit that people see when they walk up on you, they see it before you see it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You probably played around with it in the mirror, but you ain't hopped off the porch with it. You know what I'm saying? Off the porch, man. That's why discomfort is is growth, really. Right. For me, every 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 day I'm doing something that I'm not comfortable with because I'm out of my comfort zone. Yeah, that nigga talking about jumping off the porch. Man, I jumped off the plane. <laughs> I <laughs> jumped off the plane, for real. Yeah. Hey, I'm not around none of my family. I'm not around my home base, you know, to get that recharge. Yeah. So every day I got to really look in the mirror and be like, hey, you that nigga. Yeah, I got to. And yeah. Yeah, for real. Nah, for real. Like, what made you want to <laughs> trust me and then rock with me? For real, mm-hmm. for real. Really, it was your passion. You know what I'm saying? I seen your passion, your grind. I was like, man, hey, you really believe in yourself. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I really believe in myself. I mean, mm-hmm. and, and and besides the business aspect, should we friends? So it's like, I was gonna be there anyway. You right. tell me you got a job, I ain't doing shit. I'm gonna pull up anyway. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, it, it should just work. It came together perfectly. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. No cap. Yeah, I with, appreciated it too. Hey, man, hey, man. like to a tenth power, like. Man. I'm around a lot of folks, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. but I ain't invested in that. You feel me? Right. That's a big difference. I know a lot of people, but how many people I'm actually tied in tied with, locked in? Like Every people day. see me without him, they shot. Like, major, yeah. man. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And vice versa and shit. And I got another partner like that too. It's like, yo, it's it's kind of hard to not see us together because we really, when we go, we going hard. It don't matter. We picking up trash. Right. You feel <laughs> me? Right. And but. Same with you, like, since we want, since we brought you on the team, we see you believe in yourself and you growing and you trying and you getting better. I mean, like, you're really cold out your shit. Yeah, and you actively want to do it. See, I don't got to search for you. If right. I got to search for you, then I'm, I'm like, man, well, shit, I don't even got to spend no time sending a group text and that shit. I only send it because I see y'all actually want to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, if I can help y'all mm-hmm. in an opportunity with that, what y'all want to do, it ain't pulling from y'all. Why not? Let's go for it. Cause we actually talented. <coughs> Way better than the shit that they put on. Be not being funny enough about you know, the program. <coughs> nah, for real. But <laughs> yeah. We do a lot of stuff better than other crews. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Why not? Oh, we got to do a little bird. Do the bird right there? I'm not working on it. Hummingbird. Yeah, man. I, I, started, I started ranting. <laughs> Oh no, you good? Nah, you good? It, right. it was on point. Right. It was hey, straight to it. Yeah, Shit, man. Fuck oh. it. Cut and dry, transparent. If you don't, I be like honestly faking it till you gotta fake it, even if you don't feel like it, because people aren't gonna go off. They gonna go off what they see. Yeah, and that's it. So sometimes I don't feel like hella confident, but shit, you're not gonna know it. Cause you don't know the difference. That's if I don't fact. know the difference, that's a fact. I be writing affirmations on my mirror, on my boards. You're this. You're that. You're that. Do it help? If, hell yeah! <laughs> How many folks will want to critique somebody even jumping off the porch right. when they didn't even do it? Exactly. Everybody. You know what I'm saying? Everybody who ain't doing it, right? Like we appreciate it because we know how hard it is. Like it's hard to get in front of a bunch of people and just do anything. You know, put yourself out there. So. I appreciate people that jump off the porch and really, you know, believe in themselves. Man, what? I, yeah. That's why I can never disrespect art. Right. Because right. yeah. people say, no, nah, I'm whacking up. I can't grade you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, you jumped off the that. fucking yeah. porch and let people grade you. Yeah. You tight to me. I don't give a fuck. You see my catalog, you be like, man, I believe in this nigga. Because right, right. I said, you jumped off the porch. You, I ain't even a rapper. I want to be a rapper one day, right? In my mind, you feel me? But like, I know I missed the window to be a rapper. 
<laughs> you right in the prime today. <laughs> I got some more release shit. <laughs> Mix that coming soon. Oh, uh, right on, man. But like, damn, but they jumped up the porch to do that. I say, man, I always wish I could just get on stage and just rock that bit. Rock you feel me? You turn so, up a crowd. How you practice that shit? You got to just do it. Practice. Open mics or whatever the fuck you got to do. Make your own mic. You go to Fremont, get on the square, and you singing and rapping. You know what I'm saying? And for me, it was like, man, uh, you would think, like, Louisiana, looking at, looking from the outside, you would think you got to go to school for this. You're like, man. Yeah. So once I got around somebody like you, you who don't got to go to school for this but could really do it, mm-hmm. and people are really paying attention to y'all, mm-hmm. it's like, man, like, we don't need the structure. Nah. We just need to be in the room. Be in the room. And we'll make it happen in the room. That's a fact. Uh, That's a fact. Eyes, eyes be glued to y'all. I don't know if y'all know this, but I be sitting back. Why I don't ask? look at yeah, that. Yeah. If yeah. I see that, yeah. I'm gonna be. That's I'm why I be sweating. <laughs> I be sweating too. I be sitting back, sit back watching. I be sitting back watching. Also, I edit the videos and shit, so I see yeah, how yeah, people yeah. look at y'all. It's like, man, y'all got this glow around y'all, and that's that's y'all gift. Like people gravitate to y'all. Yeah, it's y'all all of us. Yeah, for real. Yeah. I'm saying so. That's a gift, and you got to use that. Now you can use a good, bad. Mm-hmm. It's up to you, but. It's a gift, man. Like a lot of people not inviting. Some people you don't want to talk to. Yeah. Yeah, I used to be like that. Yeah, yeah. like man, she got a look on her face, or he yeah. got a look on his face. I'm unapproachable. Yeah. People yeah. think I'm like the yeah. meanest yeah. nigga, but I'm like I'm actually cool as Until a bitch. Until they meet you, you like, oh shit. That, that, you know yeah. Every time somebody gets to know me, like, damn, I didn't know you was gonna be like this. I mean, you're cool, man. Good people. <clears throat> I just well, now I realize, like, damn, what the fuck y'all was saying behind my back? That's what <laughs> I. Hey, anyone say you? Oh, you cool. I really just processing like, damn, what was you saying before, <laughs> and what did they say? Because clearly, if you over here and you saying it's different, that means it was all negativity. All negativity. You feel yeah. me? But just been waiting yeah, on it. Just waiting on the opportunity. But yeah, man. Yeah, man. But hey, I believe in y'all. I don't know if y'all noticed that, but I really believe in y'all. I, I want the best for both too. of y'all. Man, all, I feel all of that. Us, yeah. Like I feel but, the genuine yeah. um, want, like for everybody to win. Yeah, and that's why I fuck with y'all because I can tell when a nigga don't really want you to win. <laughs> hey, man, we but we all know what that feel like and look like. So. Man, yeah. for real, like every time I get an opportunity, man, I want to hype. Just how geek I want to be for it, I would put it on y'all plate right. the same way. Like, hey, man, this is for all of us. You feel me? I'm, even if they call just my phone, the deal coming with the team. You right. feel what I'm saying? So it's like, all right, when I be presenting stuff. I might be talking future stuff because I was just in a meeting about something that they were talking about. They're like, hey, man, we're about to take it to the next level. And I'm like, I don't know how to articulate this shit, but I just know it's like, man, I'm geeked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just yeah. geeked. Like, hey, man, just come fuck with me, man. Come fuck right. with me. Just be here because I can't explain it. These are professionals. Yeah. But the fact that we get an opportunity just to be in the room and listen to it and they want to hear what we got to say, mm-hmm. I yeah. feel like, shoot. How many young niggas doing what we doing to get that position? Right. You yeah. feel me? So, many. And that's another thing I like about you, bro. You, you're you futuristic. Not saying like you know what the future holds, but you're not scared to try nothing. Yeah. You uh, keep reinventing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You, you keep it fresh. Us being in it, we'll, we'll stay stagnant to something. But yeah. you keep moving it forward. And that's what we expect out of you. You know what I'm saying? Keep yeah. it. Keep us on the new shit, man. Talk, keep us talk, on the new shit. Hey, I'm just saying, keep us with the new shit. Because we're going to bring everything else. We're going to yeah. get people to like it. Whatever, it. Yeah. whatever you see, like, yeah. we're going to do it. We yeah. trust mm-hmm. you. I see you we as a visionary. You. Yeah, yeah, we do. So, hey, I hey. fuck with y'all. T- hey, I really fuck with y'all ideas, uh-huh. too. Sometimes I do, like, but I don't know yeah. who said it in a meeting one time when we was like, uh, Yo, see not here, we don't know what to do. Uh, yeah. It kinda hurt me a little mm-hmm. bit, but guess what? It ain't it ain't I just wanna make sure But like, eventually I don't we talk will to, know. Like yeah, eventually yeah. we will know. Right. I just, we gotta get more reps. Yeah. More reps. And it's it's more of a confidence thing too. Yeah. yeah it's yeah, like, yeah. man, uh we new in the game. Yeah. So y'all skill level look like y'all been in this shit ten years, so that's why I be talking like that. That's why <laughs> like, so yeah, no disrespect. <laughs> yes, y'all we real. y'all accelerated <laughs> course. You did a, your first gig was two weddings. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> Nobody starts with a wedding. Okay, yeah, not two popping ass weddings. I don't even know. But I'm on, I'm in the but uh man, what I was saying. <laughs> shit. You were saying how y'all trust and yeah, believe yeah, 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 my division. Yeah. If y'all got any ideas, real shit, yeah. throw it out there because I don't want to direct us 
just what I say go. You feel me? Yeah. I might sometimes like, I, like this weekend. In fact, I just found out I ain't a cool nigga like I thought I was. You feel me? I've been out. I've been in stagnant in, in comfortability for a little minute. So I'm like, all right, let me get back outside. Let me let me. The smell tastes different. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, I gotta get back. Hey, man, we don't need him to be cool <laughs> at all. <laughs> we don't need him. I seen him cool before. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't uh, find it for a week. Man, for real. <laughs> nah, but hey, man, just just keep being yourself, brother. Keep believing in yourself, and and don't think like everybody against you. Because yeah. at the end of the day, not only is we against you, but outside fuck with you too. Yeah. So keep believing in yourself. We got your back. We gonna keep growing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We gonna keep growing. Yeah. We got a love sure. for this shit. I see. Yeah. So yeah, we gonna yeah. keep growing. So hey, man. Get your ass. Right. <laughs> on TV time. No, so. Yeah. Oh, so that's how we new to this. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we new to this, and uh, damn, you got a champ. I was saying we new to this. Yeah, we come along. With this. I definitely, I definitely feel like, and this is just me being, you know, just so ambitious. I have put a lot in y'all direction without no information. So my presentation and organization with that. Please forgive me. You, you know, we're working on all that. Yeah, yeah we work. Communication. We all are, yeah. Yeah, you know that. what I'm saying? We all, but hey, it's healthy. Like, uh, me and you had a conversation last night about our communication. Yeah. That's what we're supposed to do. That's that's the grown man. Yeah, that's that growth. Is. I could have let it slide and let it eat, eat me up type of shit. But hey, man, hey, I was writing in my journal. That's why I brought it back up. I, I wrote it in my journal. Yeah, and I was just like, you know, for you to address it. Let me double back and just make it clear. That makes me so happy. You know what I'm saying? That's so, that's it's so it's communication. It's like, bro. But so many people mm. don't know how to communicate, and it fucks up so much valuable I, shit that could have been fixed. People, yeah, man. I was one like, of them It's so easy to just say how you feel, and if the person fucks with you, they're going to fix it. They're going to fix it. And if they don't, then you know where you stand with them, but it's so easy to just say what you need what bothers you and the shit can get fixed man so we had some confrontation you oh me? yeah we didn't have some problems and some solutions right mm -hmm. Before we was communicating, it was cut and dry. Yeah. I don't like going back and forth. So yeah. if I say it, I meant it, and I yeah. Yeah, and right? I'm going, like, wow. Oh, when, when, when I see you, and when I see you, it's oh, still. Yeah. <laughs> I, <did laughs> job. I was like, wait a minute, guys. <laughs> Can we please be a family again? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the white skin power to keep right. being for sure. It was like, man. man. <laughs> But, like, you know what I'm saying? I really want everybody to have an opinion. Yeah. <laughs> so it can't be just my way or the highway. Yeah. And I, like that's yeah. what you said. Mm -hmm. As soon as I said it, I said, damn, did I say it kind of. And I didn't say it with, like, oh, nigga, yeah, yeah. you don't listen. But I did say a word choice that it yeah. was like, hold up. And then, so as soon as the event was over, I put him to the side, like, hey, did I say, was I slipping? Yeah. I was like, nah, man. Hey, you're good. He didn't scream, it's just the way he said it. And if I would have reacted, you know what I'm saying, it would have been another J and it's like, yeah, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. and not only that, but I know him too, so it's like, yeah, hey, you, 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 you did this before, I yeah. did this before, you know what I'm saying, yeah. I love, yeah, I love you enough to, you know what I'm saying, we'll talk about it later, yeah, and real shit, you know what I'm saying, and hopefully you understand, I understand, because hey, we can't be reacting like that to each other, you know what I'm saying, that's real. In, pro in pri private, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in private, private yeah. yeah. And that's why yeah. I fuck with y'all too because yeah. you know time and place. Yeah. A lot of motherfuckers don't know time and place. Yeah. And they be fucking shit up in front of everybody and yeah. that shit looks so it bad. It fuck up business. Yeah. It fuck up relationships. Yeah. It fuck up just the stereotype. Mm -hmm. You feel me? That we, black folks can't get along. Black folks right. can't team up. Black, they, it's everything the stereotype about black people. Yeah. Right. It showed, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Especially if we, like you said, if yeah. it would have Escalated, it would have just been another situation that it yeah. shouldn't have never been at when it's all love in the first place. Yeah. Then we would have adapted all of her later and be like, man, we made ourselves look stupid. Stupid. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we can't apologize to the people like when they watch nah, this shit. Like, yeah. you feel me? They like, no, nah, they got. They feel like they got to pick a side. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Josh too big for the group. <laughs> <laughs> he did it rough. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't want to be the group. Nah, real shit, real shit, real shit. Nah, but, man. <laughs> Uh, bro, I love it, man. Hey, yeah. communication is key, and just believing in each other. Yeah, that's hey, mimosa. I believe in y'all. I trust in y'all. 
And when y'all not around, I hold y'all name up to the highest regard, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know if that's the right word for it, but hey, man. it felt good. We're going to put subtitles. <laughs> we'll be <all> right. <laughs> Yeah, man. I, but yeah, uh, do you have any questions you want to ask us? Um, I don't remember how y'all met. How we met? In the alleyway. Drug deal. I'm just playing. Nah. Yeah. Shoot, who's in the gym, low key? Just him doing his thing. But it was here. It was in Vegas. It was in Vegas. Vegas. Oh. He was still fresh. He had to cut everything. You feel me? He had to look. Boom. But he also performing. I was hired to film a whole nother team. Yeah. Well, not a whole nother team. His the former team, right? Okay. I'm supposed to highlight the whole team, which I was highlighting the whole team. But they mad at what they seeing when the final product come. The final product is of him yeah. because he's getting 50 ball yeah. points. You feel me? So if he doing his thing and he come off the bench and he not camera shy, mm -hmm. it's a lot of niggas that want the camera. Even if you hired me to be there, right? A lot of y'all don't be wanting to jump in the camera acting like y'all too cool. Like last night I was filming something. Bro was scared to get in the camera, but you told me to pull up. Oh, right. yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like, I still got what I came for, but it would have been way easier if you was like, yeah, yeah, you already know, yeah. like the camera's for you. Act like it. All right. You well, know. Wait a minute now. I still had to pay that fee. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, I was there. <laughs> I had to pay again and again and again. And so I, I bought, I was just showing them like, hey, man, I support. Yeah. I didn't even had the braid then. I was like, man, I was a poor. Like, when I get paid Friday, when I get paid in two weeks, I'm going to hook you up. Our communication was on top. And, I, and then uh, he invited me over one day to do an interview. Yeah. And edit. And you was going through a situation with your girls and all that. Yeah. And, uh, my man came. He was hey. He, they called him Captain Saberho, but shit, he was like, he was like a Negro. <laughs> nah, but he was going through a situation. He never uh, spoke on what he was going through, but shit, I just seen like just having conversation, just reading around. I seen like uh, he was going through something. So shit, man, he was uh, getting evicted. His girl took everything and left. And he still was investing in me. He was like, "Man, we need to do this. We need." I'm like, "Bro, damn, you hey, got you got confidence. Six, you got six days left. Like, what you gonna do?" <laughs> he like, "Nah, man, let's set up. We doing interviews." And uh, I offered him a place to stay. Uh, I saw the situation. I was like, "Man, you will crash on the couch or whatever." Mm -hmm. He played it all smooth though, type shit. I because I never asked him, him this shit. <laughs> we never had a conversation. Uh -oh. It was like, "Come over for dinner," he like type shit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nigga, already damn it, had yeah. the blanket and pillow right there, yeah. like. Yeah. Just knew he was gonna, you know what I'm saying? But it was like, all right, cool. Then his mom embraced me, his girl embraced me, yeah. little mama embraced me. You feel Everybody me? That was like, Shh. we were sharing the room for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, <hey. laughs> like, yeah. But it just, uh, I mean, that's the type of person I am. If I if I fuck with you and I see you doing bad, I didn't get like four people uh, in my crib to stay. You know what I'm saying? Everybody I'm locked in with, and yeah. I can always go to. But that's how I am. Cause hey. I might need some more exactly. shit. Real <laughs> shit. So yeah, 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 yeah. You already know. Yeah. Off top. And that's how I build family where I'm at. I'm like, man, if I could give somebody my all, shit, they're going to give me their all. You know, I'm going to put my heart in it. Right. Uh, pure heart. Mm -hmm. well, most of that nigga talking. Right, man. <laughs> feeling good. Shit, you got me talking that <laughs> <other> night. <laughs> but yeah, man, we just, and we just started building since then. I've never been in front of the camera before, but shit, he made me feel comfortable. Oh, I gave him his first yeah. interview. Ooh. First interview, I oh, never cried because it was therapeutic. Yeah, we yeah. talked for hours, and we and yeah. we never dropped the footage. We and it's so much that we had in the old spot when we was trapping. Mm -hmm. We going through the trenches. I, well, I'm going through it. Never could tell. We having the time of our fucking <laughs> life, and then it went by like. You feel me? It was like damn, but it was about a whole year and a half. We was rocking every day yeah. at the crib creating. Damn. Going hard. He talking about the documentaries and shit like that and getting to know him. And then So like, then that's when y'all went to Louisiana? Went to right after yeah. that. It was just an idea. Like, man, we should go home and record it. I, know, I don't really tell people about Katrina. Yeah. Nigga been through so much. I was like, man, I don't really talk about Katrina. I told him he thought it was like an awesome story. Yeah. And I, still, I, still, I didn't think he believed me. So I was like, man, we got to go home. Like, we got to just, I, I just want to show you, like, and we ain't telling nobody we was going. We just went home. Hey, we popped up. Hey, yeah. I ain't have to lift the finger. Man, hey, hey good, good looking. I'm a part of V Town. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, they, they definitely treat me like royalty down there. Yeah, facts. And, it. and it's like, mm -hmm. what's crazy is like, everybody, when they come, where they from and they leave, they always, everybody got a story. If I was from L.A. and I moved yeah. to Vegas, nigga, I was L.A., la, 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 la. I'm from the Bay. Everybody say that until they go home. 
My man said, I'm that nigga. We went back home. Everybody <laughs> knew this. Hey, we was at the corner store. Every store, you feel me? From the airplane. I didn't have to go. I didn't have to. It was all everything he said. You feel me? And it yeah. wasn't all no cockiness. He said it was smoothness. A lot of folks said it was cockiness. Like, yeah, where I'm from? I'm the man in my city. I'm Santa Claus. All right, cool. We're going to see. Yeah. And shoot, he seen when he met my fam. Right, right. Hey, the same vice versa. I say, man, I'm popping. Mm. Ooh, ooh, I walk around chilling. But shit, they know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right, hey. His family. He got some big waves in his family. <laughs> <laughs> we know really? he got the waves, right? <laughs> mm. Oh man! And as you know, it's crazy. My mama's side bigger. I, I never met your mama's side. Cause she, yeah. she lit. The only papa. Yeah. Only yeah. But hey, we got some heavy hitters. <laughs> Uh, you yeah. right, we gotta. Yeah, we gotta. If we go to LA this weekend, we gotta stop by. Yeah, we can definitely stop by. Maybe they gonna come out for sure. Shit, we can go for barbecue sure. by his dad. <laughs> we need sure. to go. That's what you need we to meet. Oh to man, go. pop's gonna tell yeah. you. He gonna make you come too. That's what you need to meet. He be. tried to kidnap this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. said, "Nigga, don't come without him, right? Because I gotta show him the hood the right way." Oh my god, man, pop's got so much respect, and then like my other cousins <laughs> and OGs and shit like that, they just so well respected. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's so crazy we I, don't, I ain't never had to go nowhere where i would accrue i can be dolo and be good yeah. you feel me yeah. and that shit is unheard of a lot of people can't go anywhere i've been everywhere right. new from every neighborhood and not just in california just walking around being free nothing's ever happened to me hey, for real love both hey <laughs> <laughs> what made you move out here uh my mom had so I really, that's a long story. So I was um, actually engaged before and I was living in DC with my, <laughs> my ex. You okay? <laughs> what? You got something to tell us? <laughs> right, God damn. Right. <laughs> and so we were living in DC, right? We was uh, training shit. I was fucking miserable, but it was one of my situations where you, you don't see yourself leaving. Like I thought, I felt like I was stuck. Mm. So God be working crazy though. So. Mm. My mom, she was like, yeah, I don't feel like she called me one day was like leaving the gym. She was like, yeah, I don't feel good. Like I got a doctor's appointment. I really like I'm kind of scared. I want you to come, you know, come down for like a week. So I hadn't seen her since quarantine. Mm-hmm. So I went down. I was like, yeah, um, went down there for a week. And then the last day I was supposed to leave was like literally at night. And her doctor called her, told her she had breast cancer. So I ended up staying with her. That was like August. Something like that, and then I ended up staying with her. She started her chemo in January, so mm-hmm. I was just with her that whole time. Yeah. And then my niece and nephew are here. I didn't see them in like two years because I was pooping, mm-hmm. moved to LA, moved to DC. I was just moving around, and then I was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna stay because I was trying to get out of my relationship too. I was trying to yes. use a, a reason to leave. He ended up coming though, and then <laughs> yeah, yeah. no, nah, he came oh, like a couple months I later. I we got a place, whatever. I had to leave crazy. Started playing basketball, like around the time I left. And then I started, as soon as I left that relationship, and I decided to stay here, my shit. Boom. Bang. <laughs> 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 started flourishing. If she stand crazy. up, you wouldn't know what she's talking about. <laughs> 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 nah, but it's crazy what like investing in yourself can fucking do. It really can because I used to be skinny as fuck. Yeah, from stress. From stress. Was it mental stress or was it, it was uh, everything? Okay, it was, okay. I was just so unhappy, man. Man, I never. I was used to stay. I had to stay at my teammates' house sometimes. My cousin's house. Like scared to go home. Like I had to sneak out when I left. Goddamn. It was a lot. So. It's nothing that nobody can, you know. I, I know I'm that nigga. Yeah. Because I did everything on my own. Right. My own place, everything's in my name. I pay for my shit, you know what I mean? Like, I'm making all these deals and ventures happen. Like, I don't, I I know I'm, I'm bad. You know what I mean? Like, it, see, nobody can tell me right. shit. <laughs> so, yeah. this media stuff, like, I've never done it, but I'm like, fuck it, I'll try it. Like, I'm down to try anything because... Yeah. You never know what's gonna come from shit, and you got you got to do things out your comfort zone, like you, you said. So mm-hmm. you got to, and all that. But hey, recording, recording, yeah, 
Oh, you yeah. look my good first, doing it. My first, my yeah. first. Yeah. The camera, you look good behind the camera. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you killed it. Thank you. Yeah, Am I wrong? Man, I watched the footage. Geek called me. He called me. We're like, hey, man. Hey, <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. But remember, I called you that early that day and told you. I was like, whoop, whoop. And I didn't even look at everything. Yeah. So when I called him, I seen everything. Mm-hmm. Now, you already know we have, there's, you know, in yeah. the city, there's some situations. But guess what? I love that, that you went over there, gave him the mic mm-hmm. and turned it up. Mm-hmm. I called him and said, bro. Did y'all set this up or what? Well, who did this? Because it was tight. I thought that was a card as shit. Let's speak on it. Yeah, so. Now, let, let's speak on uh, Jay. Okay. Justin Holiday. My guy. How you doing, oh, brother? Okay. We come in peace. Hey, man, it was just a misunderstanding. Absolutely. Uh, two young men frustrated. There ain't no real beef. There ain't yeah. no real problems. So, Justin, bro, we don't want you to think we got some type of malice or anything towards you. We men, man, we can move on, we can grow. Mm-hmm. We love you, dog. Yeah, real no shit. Cap. And you killed it at the All Star game, too, bro. Hey, man. MVP. 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 Turn it up. Let's talk about the ball dogs, man. Hey, uh, just segue into that. Yeah, that's smooth. That's smooth. <laughs> uh, shoot, Dylan was going crazy. Yeah. For real, for real. I we, thought she was going to get the MVP. Why she didn't get the MVP? Hey, man, why y'all didn't get a ladies because MVP? Justin just, they got seven footers dunking Justin and shit. Justin said he had like 34, but she had to have had like. But is MVP mean those stats or is it mean your impact? It's because stats. her impact was bigger than the game. Yeah, but it's, for me. it's stats. But, but she should have got some. She should have got like an honorable mention or yeah, some shit. Because that shit was crazy. On me. She was killing. Yeah, she was killing. She was doing moves. I watched the flicks. I'm like. She mm-hmm. pulled up. She pulled up. To, fast break. Pulled up to the three. <laughs> Fake the pass, yeah. turn the whole fucking 360, and then make the fucking three. Oh, time, I'm saying, shoot it, shoot it. Just like, fuck it. <laughs> if you don't believe us, click here. <laughs> <laughs> click the link below, subscribe, <laughs> tap in. Nah, it was an awesome <laughs> event. Shout out to Ball Dogs. Shout yeah, out facts. to Ball of Life. Shout out to Stay Overtime. Balling, all that. Stay balling. Yeah. Hey, man, we need more events like this in the city. Uh, it keep us busy. It keep the fans engaged. Mm-hmm. And man, we love it. It's a culture. Yeah, and yeah. it was all positive. It was for the kids. You feel me? Yeah. The youth. They came out. You see what they do. Right. They was turned. They was more hyped than the game. Exactly. For they real. they made the game. They hype. made the game hype. They made for real. The game. For real. Like, who are some of the people you interviewed? I'm bad with names. That's all right. Ooh. But we, did, we got the TikTok. <laughs> yeah. Um, upcoming, they're like rappers. What a dancers. future kings! Future I think. Kings. Yeah, future, future kings. kings. Yeah. Okay, we got them. We got mm-hmm. Justin Holiday. We got Lime Green Slime. Oh yeah, Slim Reaper. Slim Reaper. Slim Reaper. He was cool. He was nice um, too. Hey, rush out to your hell. Hey, shout <laughs> out to your son for walking an interview and the glass. <laughs> shout out for your son. Okay. <laughs> uh, we got what was the dude with all with the mob? Oh, the mo- uh, you talking about little homie t- uh, Lit Reezy. Lit Reezy. Yeah. Oh, Lit Reezy. Hey. We got Lit Reezy. We got mm. Dylan. I got Dakota. Mm-hmm. Dylan. Um, oh, you got both of them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She walked up on the bench. Hey, yeah. so how was it? Didn't mean to cut anybody off. But look, how was it when I told you to go walk on the bench and get on the mic? I was nervous at first, and I said, Josh, can you go first? I was so nervous, I too. Gave him, <laughs> I gave him the thing. I was like, I, 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 all right, I, I was like, all right, I'm getting out. Like, I need to see you do it. Hey, I was nervous, too. I couldn't let her see me sweat. I was like, hey, come on, let's go. And then after, after he's like, I'm sweating. I was like, I can't do this shit. I said, I couldn't even hit myself. He, he told me no at first, bro. For real? <laughs> yeah, when I was asking you, like, no, after the game. I was like, huh? He turned around, he saw you, he was like, all right, come on, we can go. <laughs> that made me sweat even more. I was like, shit. And then I don't know nothing about the dude. Man, yeah. so, no, it's that's so what funny. I'm saying. I don't really know nothing about him, but it's like, but. That's what makes, the, I feel like that makes the best interviews if you don't know him. Because those moments, you get the, they got to really explain who they are. Yeah. You met Beyonce, and you know, she going to really tell you, even if you knew or not, just like how you said Kevin Gates got on stage, yeah. half, 90% knew who he was. It was the 10% he was impressing. Right. Yeah. Hey, y'all don't know me, but I'm going to let you know who I am. Mm-hmm. whoop de whoop And that's when y'all really can shine for mm-hmm. sure. That's why I really put y'all in the fire. Like, I, when you said, uh-uh, I'm going to let y'all, I said, girl, stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> right? And she, I got it all, and you were recording the show. Like, it was really, it was really because I, had, I hadn't done, like, I hadn't been in that, uh, you know, environment in the yeah. minute. It's, like, we it's just getting wrapped. Not only that, like, but cut. people know us, too. Yeah. So yeah. People that know and us. And I can feel people. Looking, when I'm walking yeah. around, I 
<laughs> feel that shit. That's, I don't even look yeah. to the left. I don't look to the right. right. I just they looking right at you. Shout I out to Tyler see. for calling me out. She said I walked by her three times. I said make it four. <laughs> <laughs> really don't see you. I know. <laughs> look, I, man, they're not in a rude way, but like she said, man, I'm B line the A to B. That's it. That shit will distract you. Don't make you. That's what make me feel self conscious. Right. Yeah. I be out there smiling the whole time. People be talking, I don't be listening to nothing. I just, yeah. <laughs> too much going on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm living my dream. Too much going on, bro. No cap. Got them talking to me. Got them talking to me. Got people walking up to me, dabbing me off. I really only pay yeah. attention to where y'all are at and yeah. what I got to say to y'all. That's Ooh. it. All right. That's it. Come I on, always know where y'all are at all times. So when I don't, I be like... Hey, where's Cena? Where's Josh? Oh, yeah. Just, just so I know. Like, just so I know. She's right behind you. Look, that's why we had our miscommunication. Oh. That, because I was like, man, I don't see the squad. Mm-hmm. Right? But I was on one end the whole time. Yeah. And then when you did come to me, and when we caught up, it was on the, I need help. I need right. help. Not being funny, but like, you feel me? So it was like, damn. That's kind of like, did we get what we need? Then I looked at the footage. I was like, man, you didn't need no motherfucking help. No, <laughs> because I was after the fact. <laughs> yeah, Once I get my one in, I'm good to go. Now yeah. I'm going up to whoever. I was like, man, she had the mic all on the benches. You gave Mike the White Iris and they're like, yeah, it was Juliana and then White Iris. And yeah, I was like, Juliana, I didn't even yep. see him. I was like, oh yeah, what's up? What you got like? That's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because you put them on the spot, it makes the interview turn. Because yeah. now they got to be genuine. Mm-hmm. They can't make shit up. Can't make it up for me. And all that. I wasn't even thinking about doing that. I thought she was going to be in the video the whole time. But you giving them the mic? Yeah. That's even better. That was smart. Like that's- We need to get... He made the suggestion. Not to cut you off. Yeah. You made the suggestion last night. When you said the overview when we looked at the footage. He was like, man, she was giving the mic out. We need our own mics. So yeah. everyone just get a mic out. You yeah. feel me? Because we can get way more accomplished. Just give them the mic. They're going to rock. We're going to sh- go back and forth. Like, yeah. What Shorty did when she came up on you, uh, uh, Gonzalez. Uh, she took it, yeah. She took the mic. Yeah. And it, she got real comfortable. Yeah. You feel me? So, yeah, let, let them have fun. Let them mic. For real, for real. Let have fun, man. And then there's no right or wrong things to say. Just run it. It could, shit, you can talk. Is the sky really blue? You, think, yeah, you got your you formula. I watch you. I watch you out there. You got a formula already. Yeah. Like, just run that and you be getting reps in outside our camp too. Yeah. I be yeah. seeing it. And I love it. I'm like, get your reps in. Yeah. Another nigga might say, don't get your reps in with them. Get it with us all the time. Yeah. No, I want you to get the reps in. Not I want you to. That's the best part. That's why I fuck with Coach Cam because he he tells me, hey, go do your thing, like. Do you want to do interviews? Go do interviews. Talk to whoever you want to talk to. Get the footage you want. Like he be letting me. He really like letting me practice my shit at all his events, and he be having everybody at his shit. Man, I really think you could be solidified in that space. You will be. You feel me? Because they're already looking at you like that. But we can make it official and be like, bam, mm-hmm. that's my title. When you know me, you know that. You feel yeah. me? I can't really see myself yeah. doing it. Like I never thought I would be doing that, but now that I started doing, I'm like, damn, like. I like it. Like, it's fun. It's I new, like too. It's it. like, yeah. you open a new door to a whole nother world. You're like, wait a minute. Man. And it will never go out of style. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Everybody wants to talk. Everybody. Everybody love women. It's Let's always just start there. upcoming people. People who already know always mm-hmm. want to talk about what they got going on. Like, it's always room for... Tell me this. Is the uh, attention that you get from the camera is the same attention you get from basketball? Fuck no. No? No. Which no. one feels better? And, or which one makes right. you nervous? Which one was like, like between basketball and media? Yeah. Honestly, it's, it's, it's different because I'm more doubted in basketball. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like a lot of people think because I do what I do outside of basketball mm-hmm. that you can only do one thing. Right. And if you, if you do other things, you're not as good at basketball or you know you're too pretty to do this or that so that's kind of what I get a lot in the in my basketball experience mm-hmm. and um, so it's probably more pressure with that but when I don't give a fuck I be having to put more um, effort and time into focusing myself to play basketball than I do to do media but I've been doing basketball my whole life Type shit. Man, like- but it's only because it's a lot of negativity around and I be so, thinking, I be thinking too much. But um, commercial break. Many <laughs> uh, made hango punch. Get you some. <laughs> hey, let me get some more. Yeah, I gotta pop that one. Many made, I'll pay for that. Hey man, I need seven dollars, baby. Wally World, let's get it. 
But I like the. I don't mind having just like attention though. Mm-hmm. Like uh, I said, for me, the basketball world is more like of a. It's like a worship. Like when I get in my mm-hmm. groove, people are like worship it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the camera, like it give me access. It's still That's a worship true. though. Like people come to me. The intention it's is the is wrong like worship to me. It's like this for media. That's why I got out of Hollywood. Look, man, because. And it's not no shot that Hollywood or anybody. They want something. It's a everybody gets used. Let's just start there. Okay. Yeah. Is it either gonna be good or bad? Right? I'd rather us use it for good. Because we can really create the shit we wanna see. You feel me? All right, Dr. Strange. <laughs> <laughs> that boy came here like an Avenger. <laughs> Cause they doing stuff that I don't really rock that or believe in. Some you feel me? Yeah. It's going to had its every spirit shit. It's going right. It's, it's going beyond my belief system. You yeah. feel me? Like, and I'm not no spiritual guru to the ten power. You feel me? But some shit I just don't rock with. You know what I'm saying? It's like, all right, cool. Y'all yeah, can do I that. I got the tools to make all this even make it our own. We got our own. We got real life stories. When well, y'all make it, you know, I don't know if it's right or right. Non-fiction or fiction. I don't know if that's the, whatever one is fake. You know what I'm saying? But I want us to be authentic from the heart. You feel me? Because that's the shit I gravitated to when I was a kid. Like Family Matters and shit right, like right, that. Right. Fresh Prince. Those is real shit that was happening in real households. If you had money or not. Right. You know what I'm saying? We all can relate. We all can relate to that. And to this day, those are the shows that still stand alone on their own plateau. Like, if they put that on right now, everybody gonna watch it and enjoy it and find something new in it. You feel me? Like, damn, this some new shit. It's refreshing. Right. Tell me this. Uh, Since we all in the new arena, Mm -hmm. uh, trying something new. There's no blueprints first. Where do y'all see yourself going at with this? Like, where do you see yourself taking it? I, I honestly am not going to lie to you. I see myself being on like an ESPN or something. Yeah. I can see myself doing it. Doris Burke? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's her name? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> Doris for Doris, sure. But I don't know her last name. Um, like that. I forgot her name. But she's a black skin. She's a black girl. She hosted the NBA draft. You talking about Janelle? Janelle? Not Janelle. Listen, she's no, that's, she's going to. She type. But she was like, she was the first woman and black woman to host the NBA um, draft this year. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking yeah. about. And they're getting paid like yeah. crazy. Yeah, but I mean, I'll be watching them because I actually watch reporters now, yeah. like how yeah. they be talking and interviewing and shit. And they don't be saying nothing crazy. They just be nah. talking. I'm like, like be, <laughs> and it should the be written down. No, yeah. yeah. They shit is scripted. It. Yeah. Our shit off the top of the dome. Off the top of the dome. That's Everybody. what I'm saying. Like, right. if I can do shit off the dome. That other shit is a piece of cake. And I know basketball. You know what I mean? I played it. I know it. I can see myself being on one of those platforms. I really feel like the media side or just the production side that we do mm-hmm. is it is equivalent to the game mm-hmm. and the players. Because yeah. I know how to get y'all, to, uh, not just y'all, mm-hmm. all the athletes to turn up yeah. in an interview. Because I'm going to challenge them like I would do on the court or was on the field or the yeah. track or whatever. All you got to do is entice them. Entice them. You really number one? Man, I heard I was number one. Right. Now what? No, no, man, man go ask my partner. You going to do that stupid <laughs> ass shit. Hey. Man, you didn't just watch me get a 40 piece? Hey, don't, tell nigga. Me, don't tell me that like that. Look, the two TikTok niggas, right? And you yeah. remember in the interview, they didn't score a point. No shame <laughs> to nobody. Yeah. But they started yeah. the interview up. I got a 40 piece. Yeah, they freaking they, they really did. They really yeah. That was their like opening line. Yes, it was. And I was confused at, at first. I was like, oh, damn. No, but it was right. funny <laughs> because you see it. <laughs> so it was yeah. like, what the fuck? So, like, for that, it just, that's how you know. Like, okay, cool. If you challenge somebody, they, on camera, they got to. Even yeah. if they, if you can't do a push up and I challenge you to do a push up, on right. camera, you still gonna do it. Yeah. Do it. Just because it's on camera. When I told them boys, it was a lit Reezy and Angelo. They was he kept talking basketball shit. Remember I beat you in high school, woo woo. So I put the camera on them and said, "You said what? We gonna run it for money? What? Oh yeah, yeah." Then they did the one on one shit. Uh-huh. It turned them up, but the interview was lit because I, you know, just enticed them. Like, all right, bet I'm playing off of that because I know it's gonna be good TV publicity and it's gonna be them. Me and who that 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 the mirror that they put on you so feel me? Tactic of yours. To me, if they're not talking off rip, they don't yeah. have nothing to say. Challenge them. Challenge them. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, hey, don't y'all take that? <laughs> they can't take it. Don't y'all it. take that. But now, where, where, where you see all this going? The end goal. 
uh, I don't want to say the end goal, but I definitely see the brand uh, becoming a, a, a major platform, competing with the ESPNs, yeah, yeah. competing with the Showbox, all these other networks. Uh, you feel me? Just because I feel like we're offering the shit that they missing. Yeah. I grew up watching Rashad Ahmad Rashad on Saturday. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Shit like that. Our content kind of favors that. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's raw, authentic. We going to get, we touching the fam and touch, going to the community and shit like that. We going to your story and then going to that location. Mm -hmm. Your story, we going to that location and these other brands like that too. Mm -hmm. And we highlighting that. Right. You know what I'm saying? I feel like who don't want that from a genuine place? Mm -hmm. Everybody got a brand, a business, a, a facility, or something, mm -hmm. and if we talking about them. That just make our honeycomb grow. You know what I'm saying? Their world, their world. If we had the budget, we would definitely be competing with ESPN. For sure. That's a fact. Fifty for fifty, whatever. Well, all that. Thirty for thirty. 50 <laughs> I don't watch cable. Hundred for hundred. All that. I really feel like nobody can really fade us for real. <clears throat> and it's just because I see the big dogs copying our fucking swag all the time, <laughs> all the time, man. In every arena. Yeah. If your OG, if the niggas y'all look up to. Looks up to me and the squad. What should that tell you about the squad? Yeah. All the time. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, okay, cool. Just like how they do black folks in America. They take their idea and they put it on the main stage as if it was their idea. They gain off the pain. They you got feel the me? Money. So, okay, cool. But mm -hmm. why we could just cut that out? And we just, we bought the cameras. We bought the mics. We bought the lights. Everything that they got, we got. We might not got a access <laughs> of a hundred million like oh, them, but... Our content so raw, it e equates to more than what they can afford. You know what I'm saying? So, hey man, y'all see the fire? Y'all hit the fire, man. <laughs> <laughs> to you old heads out there, y'all y'all need some. We already bro. got that. We got that. We got the fire, there. bro. Hey man, I want to say something to the old folks. Go ahead. Hey man, to the generation before me, why is it so hard for y'all to uh, help out and reach out? You know what I'm saying? To the young cats that you know we we got something. Just like if we was in the dating world, your potential, they see your potential, but why not, you feel me, really hone in on that, you know what Because I mean? they don't want y'all, they don't want, they want you to be good, but not better than that. That part. And that's the problem that we have, like, because we searching for information. The, the generation before us, I feel like they failed us in a sense, man. Yeah. We got to get on YouTube. We got to do all this begging for information, begging for knowledge. Y'all too lazy to, to actually help us out. Yeah. You see us trying. We trying. We've been trying. How long you been trying for? I've been trying for 15 years, man. man. Maybe a little longer, but hey, actively 15 years for sure. We've been trying. I didn't try it every. I didn't had every type of job. I didn't try it every type of hobby. Man. I didn't try it everything, bro. And and it Good, took somebody man. my age. It took somebody my age to believe in me. You know what I'm saying? Damn. It took somebody my age. The old heads we was hanging around. What they say, man? We don't want Josh around. Man. We don't want Josh around. Don't don't invite Josh to the party. Yeah. Why? Man, it's a couple OGs, man. It's like why? 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 I met some cool OGs. You know? Not no disrespect to all OGs. <laughs> no, no, but I, the I, majority I, of the OGs, like the dude that got me in the film work, that's my nigga. For real. Older Just, guy. Older cat. You feel me? He was a generation before me. He's still in the camera game. He's popping at uh TNT, right? He's the head guy over there who do all the highlights, the recaps, everything. He believed in me and said I wasn't like these other niggas I was kicking it with. I didn't understand at the time, but I still trusted his process. Like, oh, pull up, pull up. I stopped kicking it up doing dumb shit. I would go pull up where he at. Then, he put me on the spot. Can't really tell a nigga how to do it. You just gotta be in the, you gotta just be there. You feel me? So, one day he double booked on purpose. Mm. <laughs> so, he dropped me off. And thinking, I'm thinking he was going to the store or something to be right back. The nigga never came back and texted me and was like, yeah, you got to handle that. <laughs> right? And these are celebrities, bro. This is my first gig is with celebrities. That's popping at that time. It's for NBA All-Star <laughs> Weekend Orlando. So we're talking right? about Teasy. <laughs> I got to shoot the trailer promo music video for the mixtape for All-Star Weekend. Right? And it go dumb crazy. But I didn't know ever, none of this shit I didn't know. I was y'all. Back then, when it wasn't YouTube, it wasn't nobody information. I couldn't even Google this shit. Like, man, who can I text? So I know a nigga put my camera in these settings. Yeah. I just had to wing it. 
And you but, spent some of the deposit money already. <laughs> man, listen, I did it for free. <laughs> I was just learning. I just wanted to kick it. Like you said earlier, man, yeah. I just, man, my dog doing something, yeah. doing something. And especially if he sees something that I don't got to look over my shoulder doing, you feel me? I really appreciate that right now because I don't want to be outside like that anyway. I want to be outside and be comfortable and not have to look over my shoulder. If I got to do all that extra right, shit, yeah. clearly I'm doing something wrong. You feel me? So, y'all see now, like, I walk around Dolo. I don't, yeah. if I got this crew, crew, I'm love. But I don't need the crew with me all the time to make shit happen. You feel me? Like, all right. And I just really, you know, respect it, bro, for that. And should he call me, he still look up to me like, man, I seen that years yeah, ago. Same shit I see. Yeah. Type shit. Type shit for Some real. Shit is that on you, you know? That part. Like, you can't teach it. You just got to be in it. Like, but I definitely seen the brand really being on a uh, uh, being a platform well, from the media side to the production side to the development side, right? right? For not just athletes, programs, anything sports related, they got to come through us. You feel me? I feel like we verified enough. We have been around all the players, heavy hitters, hey. years and went by. And when they come to us, I plan to be behind the door, kicked up. <laughs> <laughs> Asking them, hey man, what y'all need? What's happening? You know what I can right. fund it for you. Yeah, right. For real. I give you the, cause man, hey, it's a lot of people out there who need just a little push. That's a all they need, push. a little push. That part. And they got it from them. Man. But hey, ain't nobody showing us that little push, that little home. Man, for but real. We're not asking for no handouts. We're not asking for nothing, really. But we just letting it be lump known, like, hey man, y'all ain't y'all ain't doing what y'all supposed to do. Yeah, I feel like y'all ain't doing what y'all supposed to do. I'm gonna take it as a scenario as a suit, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. We bring in the suit, y'all OGs come tailor this bitch. Man, please come tailor this up because you see we got a foundation. We ain't weak. Mm -hmm. You feel me? We come out actually strong individually and as a unit. You feel me? So y'all see that y'all mm -hmm. like, bro, my big bro said like. Y'all really was watching this. Y'all be... <laughs> Why you doing all that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Clearly like, you be doing something right. You waiting right, on us to yeah. fuck up. Waiting on us to fuck up. Man. But when, why you just couldn't say, come over here, young blood. Let me holler at you. I would have half step. Like, you half step and let me get you a full step mm -hmm. in. You feel me? Because you in the same facility. They let you in the building. And you didn't have to do everything that everybody else had to do. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you, know? you allow me to do that. Why not allow me to be corrected? You feel me? And really elevate. As as black people in this world today, how y'all feel about it? Like, y'all got to be perfect at all times. That's why I'm sweating like, every fucking like, day. No, <laughs> no fuck. No fuck up. <laughs> like, you can't mess up once. You can't be a, you know, it's like you got to be perfect. I'm not going to lie. I got to admit that I do feel a little more privileged as a light skin. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it's true. It's I don't it's feel real. that much pressure, mm -hmm. and I'm a female. Mm -hmm. yeah. But when I get around, a, like in the stuff that we do, mm -hmm. I feel like I'm. I don't. I don't think like that. But when I get around actual white people, mm -hmm. and then I do feel like that. Mm -hmm. But it's definitely a pressure, regardless. It's like uh, light skinned people; they get to pull from both sides. Yeah. You're not black enough, or you're not white enough. Mm -hmm. I had so, this conversation in the car. Yeah, like so, it's just like uh, I don't know what color I am. <laughs> you red. Been, you, I always been black. You, you red. You yeah, you red. Like, you red. I don't like that color. <laughs> you red. I always been black enough. I always been white enough. Yeah. <laughs> nah, but oh, shit. Yeah. like, uh, hey man. You got a thing out with? Yeah, I got a slow. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even realize we were just chilling that much. Hey, until next time. Hey, man. It was some good shit. You can chop it up how you want. Come on, we're going to do an intro, outro. Oh, yeah. Let everybody yeah. know who y'all are. Yeah. Let's start there. Yeah. We didn't even give a proper intro. Oh, yeah, we, we just started out. Yeah. Hello. I mean, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of my boss. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Big Major. Uh, What's your role, man? What you do here? What you, why you want to... All right, hey everyone. I'm Big Major. This is the squad. Ah, blah, 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 blah. Come on, man. Right now. You see how, see how, yeah. Yeah, yeah you go on, first, man. Come on. All right, let's do it. On, hey, what's up, everybody? It's Terrell here with Clocked In. Um, I got the family <laughs> here. We lit. We doing it big. We got mimosas, brunch, juju on the beat. You feel me? <laughs> Big Major in here. Uh, yeah, man, my role is I created something from, scar uh, from scratch and really just 
clocked into that and really dialed in. And then th- throughout the journey, I mean, I met a couple cool cats, man, that really just, I believe in just like they believe in me. Uh, really to take this to the next level. Our production company, our sports media company, um, we got a lot of access, we got a lot of resources, we got a lot of creativity. And shoot, I feel like with all that, why not go to the top? You feel me? You dig? So yeah, I'm, let's get it. Nice, short, and sweet. I'm gonna kick that over to the left. I'm gonna go behind that. God damn. I'm gonna keep my short and sweet, but hi everyone. Uh, it's Big Major here. Hey man, every day I'm putting my heart, soul into something that that only us three really believe in. You know, me, Sino, and Ju, we believe in this structure we got, this goal, this plan, this idea. And man, I'm gonna go hard every day. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm part owner. Uh, I'm a worker. I'm a cleanup guy. I'm big major, man. That's just, that's just what I got for you. Go ahead, we love Ju. it. We love it. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's clocked in, Ju. Juju, Juju Bean, uh, correspondent, media, videographer, whatever they need me to be, I'm that. And most importantly, I'm me. So we gonna get it. We gonna get it done. The squad gonna take over the city, the country. Just wait on it. It's coming. It's coming, man. Clocked in. We the squad. <laughs> hey, this is the first time we did something like this. Yeah. It man. won't be the last. We just getting started. We just getting comfortable, like talking as a group. Yeah. To you guys about what? Shoot, what Anything. we've been going yeah. through. Shoot, from the journey, yeah. from events to interviews yeah. to making the merch to just really in these meetings and stuff like that. We just showing the process, and we want to get y'all get a, a better insight on that. You feel me? Because the I guess the stereotype about the brand and who runs the brand has been incorrect. And it's okay. But we about to inform y'all properly. Y'all got to just tune in. Hear us out. We probably do it once a week. That'd be dope. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And really just let people know. We be at a lot of key shit. Mm-hmm. People want to know why, how, who the fuck. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. We're going to give y'all some insight. We're going to let y'all know how we were living, how we rocking. Everything ain't peaches and cream every day. But guess what? We're going to make it look like that. And right. definitely going to taste you like You would never know. Unscripted. Yeah, it's unscripted. It's raw. This, this, this is what this shit gonna be called. Unscripted. unscripted. <laughs> Straight off the top, pure intentions, speaking truth. That's the mimosa in me. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gone, man. I gotta go. <laughs> the camera blinking. <laughs>